Good morning all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. In this video, we are going to discuss Parents Patriae Jurisdiction. Parents Patriae, it is a Latin word, Latin word. P-A-R-E-N-S, Patriae, P-A-T-R-I-A-E, Jurisdiction. So, you might have heard the territorial jurisdiction, you might have heard the peculiar jurisdiction, subject matter jurisdiction, like the explicit jurisdiction and implicit jurisdiction, but uh, this is a peculiar jurisdiction. Even in the law of trust, I, I forgot, I told you, the quasi parental authority, that is also jurisdiction. Now, what is this parents patriae jurisdiction? Kerala High Court, they have exercised the so-called parents patria jurisdiction in regard to the naming of a child which has been scuttling between the estranged parents. So later you understand what is parents patria. Parents patria means so for the protection of the child as a father. So patria means protection, parents. So you will act like parents for the protection of the children, maybe in some aspects. Kerala High Court has exercised this jurisdiction in a peculiar case. Of course, they have not given the names of the so-called wife and husband who are estranged, who are at loggerheads, or who have not consented to give the name to the girl. This is the problem. So, if you go to the facts of the case, the girl was born in the year 2020. On 12 2 2020, the girl was born to Balaganga Saran Nair and his wife. And the birth of the child created a dispute between them. They were living separately. And when the girl attached, when the child, I can say, when she attained third year and when she attained the age of preschool or play school, she has to be admitted in school. Now, her name is necessary to be recorded. No doubt, mother has got her birth certificate wherein the name was not written. So, the school headmaster, he wanted headmistress actually. She wanted the name of the child to be registered. For this, the woman, mother, approached the family court because the main dispute is this woman wanted to name her as Punya Nair, whereas husband is not agreeable for that, Padma Nair or something, he wanted to put her name. So this is the problem. She has filed a petition before the family court. So, directing the husband to cooperate in naming the girl. Of course, luckily, family court acted positively and they asked the husband and wife to go and appear before the registrar Aluwa municipality. So, registrar of births and deaths municipality to get a name or to get her registered particular name. They went there, but both of them not, were not agreeable. Now, please remember <coughs> section 14 of uh, the so called uh, Registration of Births and Deaths Act 1969. Section 14 of the Registration of Deaths and Births Act uh, 1969, wherein the registration of the name of the child. It is also the procedural rule is rule number 10 of the Kerala Registration of births and deaths rules 1999 so that is the procedure and period all these things of course the procedure says uh, that the parent should get the name registered not parents parent parent means maybe single mother maybe father but the registrar has objected he asked both the wife and husband to be present to name the child they were present they could not uh, come to a consensus regarding the name of the child now the matter has come to the High Court. High Court, instead of creating the instead of creating the differences between them, or instead of continuing them, 
why don't you apply the sovereigns called parents patria jurisdiction because now the court has to perform or the selection of a name for the child the the court need not protect go for the protection of the rights of the parents because the while choosing a name of course the court has to see to the welfare of the child cultural considerations suppose if he is a lawyer if you name him as uh, some uh, veladri they will not accept nambiyar they will not accept nayar should be nayar and interest of the parents and also societal norms also can be reckoned through so keeping all these things the court has adopted the name of uh, punya balaganga tharan nayar punya b nayar so now it has become acceptable to both parents even though they don't accept nothing will happen because the consent of the parents is not necessary because the high court exercised its uh, parents patria jurisdiction very important thing so advocate shailaja she has appeared on behalf of uh, this particular woman and on behalf of the respondent uh, kitty thomas they are also happy uh, for naming a child uh, this much of dispute uh, should not be there so why i have made this videos please to know about the parents patria jurisdiction okay in the next video i am going to tell you in telugu also telugu students can be benefited from it thank you